Now I'm actually being paid to be a time traveler. It tastes like dirt. I literally have dreams where I could imagine what oceans were like 300 million years ago. Hi, my name is Russell. I'm a paleontologist in California, and I earn about $100,000 a year. I study fossils, evidence of past life. What I love about paleontology is I have a job where I take the ancient earth and bring it to life so people can get excited about what is beneath their feet. There's some fossils here. I would say that these are probably around a million years old. To be total honest, in picking this career, I did not think about earnings at all. And starting salary for a paleontological technician is about $25 to $35 an hour, depending on your years of experience. A paleontological field lead, that's going up more sort of like 35 into kind of the low 40s. You have the monitors, you have the agents, and then above that, you've got managers. And the manager level, which people do promote through, now you're getting up into annual salaries approaching more sort of like the $80,000 to $100,000 range. And at the high end, I've seen where salaries are getting up in about $120,000, $130,000. You can see the bone structure on the side of this. Probably some kind of a long bone, leg or arm. I got my degree in paleontology in 1998. I'm a professor of geology at California State University, Chico. And since 2010, I've worked many hours for different companies doing the consulting side of paleontology. It'd be great if we could get this ammonite out of the rock so we can see what the species is. So in order to be a paleontologist, you do need a bachelor's degree. You can actually move really far in the consulting world. To work at a university, you need a PhD. You need to have a doctorate. I absolutely knew I wanted to be a teacher, so I skipped the master's degree. I went from a bachelor's degree right to a PhD. Largest bear ever discovered, and the original short-faced bear was found in a cave north of here in Redding. Well, welcome, come on in the house, I'll show you around. Like every good paleontologist, we've got various rocks and fossils on top of the mantle here. The landscape of pay and salary has definitely changed. When I got promoted to full professor, I think I got a 18 or 20% pay raise. It'll grow each year because we're in a union. In the consulting world, every year there's a cost of living adjustment. This is where I work when I'm home. A lot of the consulting work I do on computer, I do back here. A large part of our monthly budget is supporting two of our daughters are in college, and I don't want them to have the debts that I had. Both of my daughters are in California State University schools, which is nice because as an employee here, I get a 50% tuition break on one of the students. It probably comes out to $2,500 a month. Our mortgage is about $1,600, $1,700 a month. I've got retirement, medical, dental, mostly covered by the state. We don't have car payments, but we have gas <laughs> payments, and it's expensive, maybe 300 to $400 a month. Part of our budget is fixing cars each month, hundreds of dollars a month. The Isuzu Trooper, 1990. Notice the lack of an air conditioning system. <laughs> we cook a lot. Utilities, 500 a month. Four of our phones, unlimited for $120 a month. To me, the pay is enough to live a good life to teach about fossils is you bring joy. It's that simple. The world's a challenging place. If you can do something to make somebody just be that much more excited for a day, you take it in. It makes you feel like your expense of your college and the work you put into it and the hours you put into studying just make it worth it. When you find out here in California that there were camels walking around the landscape and rhinoceros, it blows their mind. It just, it's amazing. And that to me is the highlight of the job. You've got to have a way to also put work aside so that you're even more successful at work. We do do an annual lovely family vacation. When I do some of this overseas travel to do fossil work, it's to tack on extra time and allow kids and my wife to come with, and that's been just glorious. In two days, I'm going to be going to the Colorado-Utah border for five days. I don't know exactly where. I don't know what rocks I'm going to look at but I will study them. And by the time I get on that airplane, I'm gonna be picturing a world of probably Jurassic, Cretaceous age, thinking about if it's oceans or if it's land, if it's land, what dinosaurs might be there. Here we are doing field paleontology in Colorado, actually really close to Four Corners area. Pretty cool, I just stumbled upon a weathered out oyster bank. I love it, it's like you're constantly learning, it's constantly new. And to me, that makes up for some of the downsides to maybe making more money in a more steady position. 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Indeed's YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time. You can always tell when you have a real fossil bone, you get your tongue wet. <laughs> I better try that. <laughs> It'll stick to your tongue.